In this video, we're going to learn how to access rows by a numerical index in pandas. We'll start by loading in a data set here. Now you can't index directly into a pandas data frame using numbers like you can with base Python lists, but you can do it pretty easily just with an extra function called dot iloc. So to get a row by the index position, all you have to do is say the name of the data frame, in this case it's called empty cars, dot iloc, that, that's saying you want to get data by i location or index location, and then all you have to do is pass the row index into these square brackets. So in this case, we're going to get the second row. So we run this, and that is the data that is in the second row. So now you can also get multiple rows at the same time. To do that, we can use the same construction, but instead of passing in a single index value here, we pass in a whole list. So this time we're gonna say empty cars dot iloc, and then within the square brackets for the indexer, we pass in a list. So we're gonna get rows two, four, and five. So I'll run that, and we can see that we did get three different rows. And if you want to limit this to certain columns, so to do that, we could have done empty cars .iloc. Then we're gonna pass two different lists into indexer here. This first list is the list of rows. So we're gonna get rows two, four, and five again. But then after this comma, we can pass another list and that is the list of the column indices we want. So we're going to, in this case, get columns zero, one, and three. And alternatively, if we wanted to, we could instead get columns by their column names instead of indices. With data frames, accessing columns by names is often more natural than using indices. So if we wanted to do that, we could use dataframe.iloc again to get the rows we want. So that's this part of it. And then after we have this data frame with the rows we want, we could do a separate index operation that is accessing the columns we want. So here we're going to have this extra operation after, after this one, and this is going to access the MPG and cylinder columns. So that's the basics of how to access data frame rows by index values, as well as subsetting by different columns. If you found this video useful, go ahead and drop a like, hit subscribe, and thanks for watching.